Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. We last left off, uh, we had just got the two medals, I believe, so we can now go into the lab. However, once my Dreamcast like wakes back up, we still have an area down here that we haven't explored yet. Yeah, so we need to go back down to B2 and have a little poke around in there, see if there's any supplies or whatnot. But before we do that, let's have a little look at this unfortunate follow. This Follow? Fellow. The Sewer Manager's Diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today, and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday, and it really doesn't come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body. While we were talking, I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him, anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. The Chief has all my sympathies, though. After all, he's done for the town. He doesn't deserve this. Yeah, because he's such a hero. July 21st. I really drink because I'm on the graveyard shift. But I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun out and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without help, my help and medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect. Yeah, I don't think the chief really cares about serving and protecting. He just seems to be out for his own end. Right, let's get out of here. Come on, Sherry. Let's go. Yeah, we've got to like, walk slowly, of course, because if we get too far away from Sherry, she does that annoying sit-down thing. Which is really annoying. Oh, I don't know if I can actually go back thinking about it, because it might say, oh, blah, 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 blah. Need to go do something with Sherry. <sighs> Should have gone the other way first, to be honest, I guess. Come on, Sherry. Okay, that looked weird. She actually, like, fell through the floor there. Dumping area. B2. Yeah, let's get out of the dumping area. It's not really where we want to be spending our time. Oh, God damn. You know, I hate this escorting bullshit. Like, why they made her... Like, sl so much slower than you. Or the fact that she will just sit down and wait for you if you get too far ahead. That only serves one purpose. The purpose is to annoy you. It's not like she can't see where we've gone. Or anything like that. She knows where we've gone. She's just being fucking useless and slow. Bastards. Right, anyway, let's use this. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure as well, you can actually destroy the uh, crocodile with your standard guns. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. Um, it just takes a hell of a lot of firepower. Well, probably not as much as you think, but it takes a good amount of firepower. Right, I don't think we need to put the bridge back up now. And of course, we've got a bucket of herbs there. A bucket of blue herbs that we can use to treat ourselves if we need to. And one second, guys. I'm going to pause and mute just because I need to sort my microphone out. It's being a little bit uh, sloppy. There we go. That should be better now. Okay, yeah, it decided to become loose and start flopping around. Which is interesting, it's never done that before. Okay, so let's start putting the medals in. I love how satisfying that is, the way they go in there. Just slide in. There we go, beautiful. Then that will stop the waterfall. Pretty sure, to be 100% honest with you, that that waterfall doesn't look that bad. 
I'm sure you could have quite easily just wandered past that. Alright, come on guys. Come on guys. Come on Sherry, I should say. And I've just gone back into my inventory because of course I have. Because I'm stupid. That's what I do. I do stupid things, apparently. Hmm. Oh, I don't think these guys have anything. Probably cut apart by some kind of edged tool. Yeah, don't think so, Claire. I would say he's probably been killed by... Uh, do we take these guys out? I guess. I guess we could. I suppose. I guess there's no reason not to take these guys out. Might as well have some fun. There we go. Sit down. Right. It's too dark to see what's going on inside. I'm sure one of these guys actually had, like, ammo or some shit on them. But I guess not. Maybe it was this guy down here. Umbrella Inc. logo is printed on the mask. Yeah. These are hunks, men. Dr. Death. Still got plenty of bullets, that's fine. All those zombies under the water. Oof. Right, let's have a look at the map. So, uh, right, we need to go back this way. So, where do we need to go? This way. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Am I being stupid? Yeah, I don't actually think we have missed the way. I think I'm just being silly. Yep, definitely just me being stupid. It's been far too long since I've played this game, I guess. Alright, let's just run past the spiders. I think if we have missed anything, it's nothing that important, to be honest. Can't leave Sherry. Ah, oh, god damn it, Sherry. Come on. Don't sit and squat. Okay? Just follow me. Follow me. It's not difficult. Maybe it is difficult. I don't know. Okay. And I love this area. Something bad is happening, though. That was a big bang. Can't leave Sherry alone. God damn it. You know how, like, in video games, everyone's favorite part is where you have to babysit another video game character? Oh, right, yes. No, everybody hates that. God damn it, okay. So, I can't believe we're, we're like, so close to the end of this game now. It's kind of crazy how quick this game actually goes by. I don't think there's anything inside there. I think we have to go fiddle with a button. Look how ominous this scene is. Now, pretty much all the Resident Evil original Resident Evil games. Oh, that's so ominous. Oh, look at it. I like the way it's called a Sky Tram as well, but it's underground. Yeah, so <clears throat> in Resident Evil, you always get to the tram section and you or the original Resident Evil and you know shit's about to get down when you get to that tram. Ah balls. No, that's fine. I was gonna say I actually need the lighter for this bit here. A flare gun, I need something to ignite it, yeah, but I'm pretty sure yeah, you don't need it, you can just search. Cause all that lighter does is highlight that key. But of course if you played this game before you know it's already there. Now, what's behind this door? I do like the fact that you come back here. Oh, the music is so horrifying. The ominous. I do like the fact in Resident Evil Zero you come back here. How many rounds have we got left? Not loads. Oh, we got enough. Light them up, Claire. On your knees, soldier! Reload. Come on. Next. Who's next? Someone's got to be next. You're going to be next. Oh, God. 
You do not puke on me, you bastard son of a bitch. Can we shoot that one, please? Thank you. Might as well drop these guys. I guess we're kind of at that point now. Where the... Oh, camera angle. Where well, the handgun is basically obsolete now, anyway. But... What do you have, my friend? Oh, yes. You need to... Oh, we need two item spaces. All right, well, we'll come back for that. So, that gentleman has a spark shot. He does indeed. I think using the spark shot actually lowers your uh, rank. Uh, which is utter bullshit. I don't know why the game would give you weapons that you can't use. Where are you, Sherry? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Stop fucking around or no dinner. I will turn this train around. There we go. Honestly, I think this is a save room. Ah, oh, not quite. Oh, we got more Zeds. How many rounds have we got? Eight. Eight rounds. Eight rounds remaining. Oh, look at that. She actually, like, holds Claire's arm or something. That's actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. Right, we've got four rounds left. Right, he's actually dead, which is cool. Now we're empty. Uh, yeah, this is the item room here. We'll go up the ladder. Okay, so... Ammo is not our friend right now, but we should get some in here. Uh, there's some more ribbons. There's a lot of grenade ammo. I mean, a lot of grenade ammo there. I mean, I guess we'll have that. We get so much grenade ammo in this game, it's kind of silly. Uh, we will... Let's have a look. There's another F8 spray in there, which I suppose we might as well grab, because we might as well. There's no reason leaving it there for the roaches. Let's have a little look at our box here. Shall we? Jiggle our junk around. So we've got 18 flame rounds. We've got 24 flame rounds. 18 grenade rounds. Another 18 explosive rounds. Let's put our F8 spray back. Of which we now have four. And we've got plenty of herbs as well. We don't need that again. We don't need that yet. Alright, let's go back down. Get the spark shot. I don't know if the spark shot um, lowers your rank. I'm pretty sure it does, which really freaking sucks. I don't know why. They would give you such an interesting weapon that's a lot of fun to use. Oh, that hurt. Oh, he's done. Yeah, he's done. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, such an interestingly cool weapon. Oh god, I didn't even see you there. You bastard. You've injured me. Son of a bitch. You fucking son of a bitch. Why would you do that to Claire? Why would you bite Claire? Alright, well we're going to leave him there because we don't really need to fight him. Oh. Hey, you just got a piece of a red field. You're in the you're in the 1%, my friend. You should be happy with that. Right, now, let's go get the spark shot. So, as I said, the spark shot, it's, it's a fun weapon. Like, I used to hate it, but now I kind of understand sort of how it works. Yeah, because any weapon that... Uh, has is two-handed, I believe, or, or, or has two item slots, is counted. Uh, 
as a two weapon device. Ah, uh, a, a special weapon. But in my mind, if it's, you know, been given to you um, for the purpose of killing the enemies and it's not an unlockable secret weapon, it should be there to be for you to have fun with. It's like healing items, like first aid sprays knocking down your rank. I don't like that idea. Like, why? They're healing items. There's nothing special about it. We will take the these as well. Right, well, I mean, we'll put them in our box. <laughs> put those there. Put... We can put that back, because that's, like, empty now. Uh, I don't think the handgun will ever be, like, useful again. I'm not going to say that with complete... Uh, guarantee, but I'm pretty sure the handgun won't ever be useful again. I mean, we might find some more handgun bullets down in the lab, but or actually on the next tram, perhaps. But uh, oh, or you know, maybe just here, which I actually forgot about. Fifteen, though. I mean, eh. Do we, do we want the handgun? There's actually a map there as well. I suppose we could take the handgun. <sighs> we might as well go loaded for bear. Mm. Yes, go on then. Go on. We'll take it. You twisted me arm game. I'll have one of those as well. Um... We should have enough gear now. Let's put those back. And... Yeah, look how few items we've actually like used in our item box. Barely anything. Right, that'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. We've got plenty of F8 sprays. Grab that. Yeah, we'll have the factory map just because. Alright, well, this looks like the last train down. How the hell is Leon meant to follow us? He's got no idea where we've gone. No idea. Can't leave. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sherry, come on now. This isn't funny anymore. Hello? Sherry? Yeah, she's looking at me now. Come on! Oh, that's so annoying. Glad they did away with that in the remake. At least I think they did. Well, she's stuck behind a box, but that's fine. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Right, well, I know you're not feeling fantastic, Sherry. Can we not check the toilet? I guess not. Ah, more fire ammo. Because, sure, why not? We've got some controls here that we can't do anything with. That's fine. We shall have those. Um, now, I haven't saved this for quite a while. There's no magnum ammo like there is in the toilet for... Um, Leon. <laughs> was, was it magnum ammo or shotgun shells in that toilet as Leon? I can't remember, but I always thought that was quite funny. Okay. Right. We do have a key. We have a key right there. Let's push the button. Oh, that siren is so harrowing. It's horrifying. It's horrible. Terribly terrifying. Going down. Trip to hell. And this is a long bloody way down as well. Oh man. Where? 
My stomach. My stomach hurts. Well, that's not good. Hang in there, Sherry. Forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. <laughs> before they pupate. Uh, right. That thing. Um. Well. Yeah, there really ain't nothing in the toilet. There's not even a door on the toilet. Uh, let's go see who's knocking on the door. Uh, I guess once we leave, we're not allowed back in until whatever is causing the disturbance has disappeared. Well. Well, well, well. What could possibly be out here? Oh, sir, you almost had my eye out. Was that necessary? Ugh. Birkin is definitely losing control here. Right. Well, shit. Let's move, shall we? Really don't want no business from this guy. What we got left? Nine. Alright, just keep shooting. Can we run? Yep, that was stupid of me. That was really fucking stupid of me to use the wrong... Uh, to use the wrong side of him. Why would you charge past the bit that has the claws? Why would you run past that way? Is it because you're stupid? Titan, are you a dumbass? Yes. Yes, I am. I am a moron of the highest caliber at your service. Um, well, I mean, I guess we have no choice. Right, run! Oh, God, I guess... I guess... It doesn't really matter what way we run past. Oof. I think he's... Is he done? Now he's done. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, what do you think of that, you fuck? Basically took everything we had, but... Hey, it was fun. We fired our six shots into the wind. A child blew a child away. If you can get that uh, reference, I'll be impressed. Right, well, that's one load of baggage sorted. Sherry. Yeah, this place is bad news. You can tell by how chilling that music is. Where did you get that jacket from? Isn't this... That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Hmm. Thank you, Claire. Looks a lot smaller Do on her. Know, I'm an only child. Neither of my parents ever spent much time with me. Because of their work. I grew up alone. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Hmm. <laughs> Sherry. Ah, uh, you'll be right, Best Sherry. Here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for Yeah, you. you're in good hands. Uh, that is if there is an antidote, Claire. Let's not build our hopes up too high. Right, let's eat this herb. There we go. 
Now, aha. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, any more grenades around, per chance? I did not remember that we got this many grenades. I mean, this is stupidly cool. Uh, right. Well, let's have a little grenade check, shall we? Probably... Should we put that back or should we keep that for now? I don't know. Got 36. Ah, my god. To think I was almost concerned about ammo. I say almost. I mean, I guess we're going to keep the um, spark shot on us. I suppose we might as well use it up. And there's no zombies here, which is curious. You can't go down the big main doors. Now, we're not the first non-umbrella staff here, of course. Uh, Rebecca and her team have mostly already been down here before. A huge breaker system that regulates all the power in the lab. The main fuse has been removed and the power is not active in some areas. Yep, yeah, um, we are going to go back actually. Now we've got two choices of, of, of places to go here. I always go the wrong way. Uh, you can go the... Oh god! Where did you guys come from? That... Legit made me jump. Oof. Oof. And naked zombies. Uh, Sherry, don't go outside for a hot minute, yeah? Well, smoke them if you got them. This thing somewhat adequate at killing zombies? Or, you know, maybe not. We're on caution again. Ugh, bloody hell. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they're dead. Pretty sure these guys come back. Like, if we come back out here again, they're, they're back. And that slappy sound that they make is really unpleasant. Um, right, that was unfortunate, wasn't it? Right, let's drop you back. Let's have another herb. We don't need that. We do need that. Let's have some fire ammo. Should we take some acid? It's really powerful against living things. Yeah, let's take that then. Um, let's load that up. And let's eat that. Okay, we should be good to go now. So we've got the spark shot for... Oh, we're on half an hour as well, guys. God damn it. I mean, I guess... Uh, I can't now. Nah, we'll push on a little bit. I want to try and get to the other save room because hopefully then we can finish this game in the next video. Which means I've basically sat down and finished this game in one sitting. Which isn't unusual, you know. I'm not saying that's impressive or anything, but... In fact, it's kind of standard. Right, let's go the blue way first. I always forget. Do you go blue first or do you go red? I can't remember. I'm sure it's blue first to make the fuse. Alright, the door is oh yeah, so we can't go that way. Yeah, okay. So it's blue first. Blue's the cold area. Yeah, because this... Oh, I love the sound in this place. Uh, we'll have it. Why not? No reason to leave it behind, I suppose. I love it. Because this floor is cold. It sounds so different. We'll take the fuse case. A control box used for super low temperature experiments. I could set the superconductor fuse here. If I had a fuse case, why are you talk? How do you know about this stuff? Looks like a computer for organizing data. Looks like it, yeah. A very cold room. Yeah, well, luckily we do actually have a fuse case. 
Oh, I love this. And it's the last fuse as well, so we're kind of lucky. They must blow through a lot of these. Good thing they had one left. Let's hope it's a 13 amp fuse at least. Nice. Now I need to sneeze. Oh man, I love sneezing. I like double sneezes as well. Oof, maybe it's COVID. Right, let's get out of it. And let's go fire up the main fuse breaker. Circuit breaker. Breaker thing. Now, I always think as well, with Resident Evil uh, 2, I kind of prefer the start of the game. Like, I never enjoy the lab sections that in that much. Um, I really do like the pl uh, the police precinct running around there. I always enjoyed that. Once you get to the lab, uh, the end game, it basically that's it really it is just so quick to complete. They just seem um, not as fleshed out as I remember. When I was a lad, these lab sections I remember taking ages. I think that was because they're quite puzzly and hard to navigate. At least that's how I remember them anyway. Right, well the west area there. Let's have a little look through here first. Yeah, I thought that one was locked. Now, see what's through this door. We've got our flame grenades at the ready. Yeah. Now, I don't think... Oh, okay, sure. Oh, we need the flame. Uh, we need the lighter, I believe. So, laboratory security manual. Laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among cargo in transit, all materials will automatically be transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a Class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route currently used to transport materials to and from the facility will be designated as the emergency escape route. This route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. Disclosure about any information regarding research conducted here and the existence of this facility is strictly prohibited. Since it is a top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain extenuating circumstances. Yeah, in other words, they may at some point have to leave us to die. A researcher's corpse. Looks like he's poured oil all over the place. Yeah. Ow. Bitch slap me. I always used to think that you could use grenades to burn this down, but I guess you can't. Hmm. Temporary user reg resignation. Yeah. Temporary user reg resignation from the culture experiment room. Username, guest, password, none. Valid for 24 hours. We will do that. I think in my original LP... Uh, I forgot to do that, if I remember correctly. Uh, console says anti-BOW gas. Yep, let's turn the anti-BOW gas off. Now, from what I can remember, that makes... makes the enemies weaker, I think. But in the B scenario, it turns them into poisonous plants. You'll see what I mean. Right, let's... Yep. Hey, guys. Here's the Ivies. Now, again, these were absent from the remake. Kind of. Ish. 
that killed both of them. It did. Now, if you burn these with uh, this weapon, they actually die, die. Whereas if you don't burn them, they will whip you and attack you from behind. Yeah, with their weird, horrible, vine whippy tentacle things. Which is not very nice. Yeah, you can see the tentacles there. So, using the flame ammo is kind of a good idea. It's fun to come back to this. Look how long that ladder is. Oh my god. It's like that ladder from um, Metal Gear 3. I've never completed Metal Gear 3. I have it, and I have played it a lot, but I've never finished it. I actually love Metal Gear. I haven't played Metal Gear 5 either. I played Ground Zeroes. And I finished all that. Right, we've got liquors. Now, I don't know if the spark shot's any good against the liquor, but these aren't your garden variety liquors. These ones are. Okay, two shots from this to kill one. That's not bad. Yeah, okay. Uh, these ones are more powerful. Come on. There we go. Yeah, these ones are a lot more vicious than your mum's garden variety flavour. These ones are a little bit more advanced. I don't know why they're green. I don't know if it ever really explains it like that. But So we've got another herb there. There's another two herbs there. Is that enough? Right. This game is not stingy with the health. At least not on this difficulty, anyway. Right. So, here we are. This is a nice central location. A nice place to jiggle all of our bits and pieces around. Now, the spark shot is quite good against... Um... The liquors. The only trouble with it is it's a very, very slow weapon. Uh, the weapon actually recycles so slow, it's a little bit iffy to use. But it's not bad. Right, let's put these back. Do we want the spark shot? Ah, uh, I guess. Ah, uh, save it for the end. We've, uh, we've, mm, we've. We've already used it, so we've blown our rank. We have so much ammo. Bearing in mind, we have not been careful with it. That we might as well just have a bit of fun. Right, let's go grab those last few herbs. I'm waiting for you, buddy. I knew he dropped. I thought it was a little bit later on, actually, but... That's fine. Let's grab up some herbs. 45% left on the spark shot. It's fine. Uh, pretty sure there's like a red herb here somewhere. Red herbs as well are way rarer than I actually thought they were. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go save the game. We haven't saved the game in the last three or four videos. So, probably a good idea, just in case something bad happens. And I don't just mean us dying, but that is actually a legitimate thing that could happen. I'm more worried about, um, yeah, we'll have the map. I'm more worried about stuff like it crashing or whatnot. I'm not saying I don't have any faith in my Dreamcast, but I don't have any faith in my Dreamcast. Right. Okay. grab you and we're gonna drop a save here on the like 40 minute mark so thank you very much for watching guys when we come back we're probably gonna finish the game probably maybe i don't know but until then guys thanks for watching